One of the most exciting positions in modern football is the winger. Today, in this video, I'm gonna give you a drill, a perfect drill if you play winger, you know, seven or 11 on the left or on the right, high and wide, that will help you become a more efficient scorer from a wide position. In this drill, all you'll need is three cones. So you'll see right here, one, two, three. The fact that they're red and orange and big and small, it does not matter, just get three cones in a line. You'll need some type of barricade or bigger object to kind of mimic a defender right there. And then you'll also need a small target, which you'll see that far small pug net, something to shoot into. So to kind of break this drill down, these cones is just gonna simulate me, you know, slaloming through traffic. And I'm gonna use this barricade, this wall here, kind of as a screen. A screen for what you're asking? A screen for the keeper. So the setup I have, that goal I showed you, that's my far post. This blue goal over here, you know, is my near post. That chair, if you can see it over there behind those blue sticks, that's where the keeper would roughly be. I'm gonna work on a drill on tucking the ball back post to catch the keeper by surprise. That's why I'm gonna use that barricade, AKA defender, as a screen so the keeper sees the ball late. Think about it, where's Mo Salah play for Liverpool? He plays on the right. What foot is he? He's left footed, because Salah likes to cut in and finish with his left foot. Messi, we all know he's left footed. He plays in the middle sometimes, but a lot of times, Messi plays on the right. Mbappe, the opposite, right? He plays in the left, Mbappe's right footed, he cuts in. My point is, back when I was growing up, it's always put the right foot player on the right, the left foot player on the left, and let them just get down the flank, up and down. But now the game has changed, right? We play with three people up top a lot. Now it gives this person the freedom to cut in and tuck that ball back post. You see this finish every single weekend. It's so important to have this finish in your locker. So I'm gonna give you the perfect drill to practice this finish and make you a more efficient winger. Okay, the drill, quick walkthrough. Start with the ball behind your three cones. You're going to attack. I want you to start from the outside. So don't start from the inside. Start from the outside, you're gonna slalom through traffic. Once you get the corner of the 18, let's cut across the box. Once you cut across the box, once you have a glimmer of daylight, right about here for me, you wanna to try to tuck it, tuck it into that pug net. Right now, I'm like directly behind this wall. And again, in a game, this would probably be a center back, right? Their hands are behind their back. They don't want a handball. They're trying to block your shot. I'm tucking that ball right around their calf right around their knee so the keeper sees it late. That's why a lot of times you'll see keepers and they're like this. Like, why didn't the keeper dive? Because the keeper saw it late. So when you dribble across the box, obviously if you shoot too soon, you'll have no angle and they'll block it. If you shoot too late and explode all the way out here, the keeper's gonna see you, he'll be able to get a good jump on your shot. But if you time it right and just come to about here, and try your best to tuck it in, you definitely can catch that keeper sleeping and tuck it low and hard into the far post of the net. Now let me get a demo in real time. Guys, listen, I made this video to show you that it's not rocket science, very basic drill. You're almost like, that's it? That's the drill? I'm like, yeah, watch the games on the weekends. They're not doing much. They're going down pace, they're doing little body fakes to get some separation, and they're just tucking and tucking and tucking, high percentage shots. The best players will take, will take that shot 10 times, and eight of them will be right where they want it. Maybe it gets saved, maybe it doesn't, but eight of them, eight out of 10, are right on the money. So if you're right-footed, or left-footed, playing on the right, do you have the ability to take your defender and get a step? Then can you use other defenders as screens and tuck it? So again, basic stuff. Can you dribble quick? Can you slash middle? Can you time your shot? Not too soon, not too late. And can you keep it on frame? As well, obviously, over here, I have another set of cones. That's for my, my right-footed players playing on the left wing, down the left wing, cut in, cut in. Obviously, I shift these goals over there and work on tucking right-footed. But that finish, I would say, is one of the top three finishes in the game. You know, maybe middle of the box, straight laces, but everyone loves to just tuck it, whether it's bottom corner or top bins. You have to have that finish in your locker if you're playing winger. You can't be a top winger without it. It's essential, you need it. 
practice this drill, leave me a comment, let me know how you like it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.